Yeah, this, I had to upgrade my bike from Super 73 to a Onyx just to make sure that we could do this. Since we do so much biking, we want to make sure that our, the rest of our family can come with us. Boy, huh? Ready for your first bike ride? We're gonna have so much fun. You just excited to come with us? Look at you, you're being such a good boy. Such a good boy. Look at that. All right, huh? <gasps> Teddy, you know where we are? Do you know where we are, Teddy? Teddy, Teddy, guess where we are? Guess where we are, Teddy? Guess where we are? We're at the dog park. Oh my goodness. Guys, you gotta let him in. Hey everyone. Hey, so I have a large breed dog and he's over hundred pounds. And so we really want to take him biking with us since we like to do a lot of biking. We'll do three, four hours, five hours at a time. So uh, we got him a trailer. I'm gonna put the trailer in the link that's uh, able to accommodate his large size. He is almost full size Rottweiler now, but he fit in there nicely. But I'm gonna show you how to install uh, the bike, the trailer onto the bike. And so right now I have the most important part for the trailer that's gonna attach to your bike. Now I'm making this video because there is uh, some concern um, because if you don't attach it correctly, you can start to slice into the motor, uh, into the motor cable. And that is no bueno. Let me just tell you that. Uh, then I'm, that could be very costly for you. So we want to make sure that this thing is as tight as possible. Um, what it's going to take you is a uh, three eighths by one inch bolt. Something it, it, it's a tight fit. Uh, you have to really screw it in there to get there, but it's better tighter than not. Teddy, Teddy, hey, I love you, pop. But I'm making a video, okay? Okay, yes, okay, I see you want to kiss me, but hey. Go get that, go, nope, all right. So it is the tight fit. I'm just gonna let him lick me, I guess. It's a tight fit. And so what you want to do is, if you'll, if you'll see this piece from the trailer I bought, which is uh, rated for his size, uh, it sits there nice and snugly. So I'm gonna take, Teddy, don't lick my ear. Why? This is what I, get, what I get for sitting on the floor to do this. Pressure washer. Gotta make sure it's tight. Then this washer, I already put this together before, so this is already a little, little bent. Actually. Teddy, please, what? Teddy, no, that's my chin. So you wanna get your pressure washer on your 3 8 you're gonna put through here. And if you'll notice, it is a little tight. Uh, I went back to the store and I got myself a nylock. Uh, Cause I had just this one originally I was using the um, blue Loctite. But I moved over to uh, nylock just cause I feel like it's a little bit more secure. We'll hold on a little bit better. Sorry, I need to find my washer cause it got out of my way. And then, sorry Teddy. You shouldn't have had your face near the wrench. I'm sorry that happened. Again, tighten up a little bit. Like I said, it's a little snug, but it does fit in there. You know, you might be able to hand turn it a little bit. Uh, I think this is the hole for the pegs, but you know what? My dog's more important than pegs. So I'm gonna take this. See, it has a, the Loctite on there, but I'm not using Loctite anymore. Put that in there. Then you get the nylock in there. And actually, let's double check that this even fits, because I did not. Oh, I guess we'll figure that out in just a moment here. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to wedge this in there. There we go, it fits. And I think we're gonna have clearance once I get it all the way tight. So just have faith, you just gotta make sure that you have the one inch, the nylock, nylon, gives you a little bit extra texture. Uh, like I said, we wanna be careful of this here, so I'm not gonna be trying to tighten it up too much until uh, when it starts to give me tension. I'm going to uh, lift it with my hand and we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Let's see, yes, I, I definitely have space in there now. So let's get this thing tightened down. So 
kind of now tighten this to bring it up a little bit. Like through that pressure washer in there, it should work even better. Because now it's kind of double locked. You have the pressure washer, you have the nylon washer, I mean nylon bolt nut. And there we go. It's literally that simple. Now it's nice and secure. Um, before I had it pretty tight uh, just by hand and by, you know, just with one of these and um, two washers, but this is definitely a lot better. Okay, you'll see in here, it is close, but you, you do have space. So it's not much closer than anything else here. If you go with an inch and a half here, you're, you're gonna have an issue because then you have an extra inch and a half out that way, and that's dangerous. So, okay. you have so here is the trailer. Collapse down. Of course, I'm doing this all in my house. All right, so now we're gonna attach the trailer. I have it collapsed right now, but it does fold out. And then Folds out nicely. You just gotta get this clamp back in. It does take a little bit of effort though. I think I put it through the wrong way actually. Here we go. Yeah, actually it does go the opposite way. Perfect. So now it's not collapsed anymore. I come over here. Disconnect this, put the pin through. Got to line it up properly. Pin goes through, boom. And then you got this strap right here and I just wrap it around so it's out of the way of the rotor and boom. You now have a super stable connection to bring your entire bike together with the dog trailer. And that's what it looks like inside. Thanks everyone for watching. This is how you install the dog trailer to an Onyx bike. Teddy, are you excited? Are you excited? Shake, shake, shake. Good, good. And so we're gonna put the link for this trailer inside the description. But we're gonna go ahead and test it out, see how it how it performs with Mr. Teddy in there on the big hills in Tacoma, Washington. Whoosh.